Pirates return to Houston, Texas, the first time in five years they'll be at Minute Maid Park on a Paul Skeens night in Houston. So a lot going on as we are less than 24 hours before the trade deadline. Astros had Jake Bloss scheduled to start today. He was scratched about an hour before the game, so you can only speculate what might be out there with a potential deal in the offering. The Astros will go with a bullpen day instead. This is Taylor Scott pitching in his third day out of four, and he starts out the game with a strikeout. Scott, who has been brilliant out of the bullpen, now gets his first chance as an Astros starter. Well, Brian Reynolds in there for the first time since Tuesday. Swing and a miss. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Brian Reynolds went after a high fastball, and so far so good for Taylor Scott back-to-back -back strikeouts. Taylor's done a little bit of everything this year. Why not strike out the side in his first start as an Astro? And he does. Taylor Scott. What a career season he is having in 2024. Strikes out the side in his first Astro start. It's LSU night here at Minute Maid Park, and the LSU alum Paul Skeens is on the mound. He took the loss of that last outing, going eight and a third, which was a career high. The last loss he had before that was against the Arkansas Razorbacks last season. I just had to mention that. <laughs> but he is a phenomenal young man with great stuff. He averages 99 on that fastball. Altuve back through the middle has himself a base hit. Jose who had two doubles in the game yesterday has a leadoff single against Steens here in the first. Here is Alex Bregman swinging a foul tip struck him out. Came up and in with the slider. And Bregman is Skeens' first strikeout victim tonight. So he gets the better of the fellow LSU Tiger. Alvarez pops this ball up. Houston area native Key Brian Hayes in the second out. Paul Skeens strikes out two of the four he faces in the first inning, and he has 99 Ks on the season. Nothing, nothing. No score. Astros and Pirates, top of the second. Taylor Scott will stay in there. Ronnie Telez going to start it off for the Pirates. This ball skied in the air on a 3 1 pitch. Altuve waves off Trey Cabbage and waits for it. Puts it away for the first out of the inning. Swing and a miss. Got him on a fastball up and in at 94. Four strikeouts in the five batter span for Taylor Scott to start this ball game two away. I'm telling you, Taylor Scott is putting it where he wants, when he wants it there. First pitch. And that's a bouncing ball hit right at. Jeremy Pena shortstop has it throws low but Singleton digs it out and the side is retired. So Taylor Scott two innings of work retires all six batters faced. You go to the bottom of the second inning Paul Skeens on the mound for the Pirates in a scoreless game. Jeremy Pena will lead it off for Houston. A fly ball out to the right of center and Bay on his horse who will make the catch for the out. Oh and to the count on Singleton. One more strikeout will be a hundred in his major league career and it is a hundred K's for Paul Skeens. Oh, that's tough that ball inside. Yes. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a really good change up. You see the movement on there. That ball turned over and just run away from the barrel. Just so many pitches in his arsenal that he can get swing and miss on. Here's the two one swing and a high pop up foul territory left side. And Hayes measures it and reaches into the Pirate dugout and onto the railing to make the catch. What a terrific play by the Gold Glover in his hometown. Key Brian Hayes. Once he has put on the Astros uniform, he has found himself in a different place than he's ever been in his career in terms of success. This one is towards Pena. Jeremy with a lot of range and a pick at first by Singleton. Three perfect innings for Taylor Scott thanks to a great play by Jeremy Pena. That ball wasn't hit hard but it was it, it was directly in between Jose Altuve and Jeremy Pena. Pena had to range wide to his left and throw back across his body. Kind of an in between hop for John who was able to maintain the bag and get the out. Great three innings from Taylor Scott. Paul Skeens returns 26 pitches through two has retired six in a row after Altuve's Soft ground ball up the middle that got through for a hit. Three strikeouts. Here's Victor Caratini, the former Cub, hit toward the Crawford boxes, but Reynolds on the track makes the catch one out. Caratini is gone. Strikes out another. Cabbage down to a knee. And that's the fourth strikeout for Skeen. So first time through the order, four strikeouts. And back to the top for Altuve, who is the lone base runner of this game. A soft bouncing ball that got through the middle. Swing and a soft fly ball. Right field. Palacios drifting in. And he takes care of that, and Paul Skeens works a one, two, three, third. He's retired nine in a row. Now we go to the fourth inning scoreless ball game as Caleb Ort will come on 
for the Houston Astros. Here's Palacios. In hard and a nice play again. Pena on the first in the dirt. Another great pick by Singleton. That combination picking up the last out of the third, the first out of the fourth. Brilliant plays both times. The ball was hit to his right as he was playing right behind second base. Had to go to his right, went down to a knee, made the stop, got back up, threw to first base, and completed the out. What a play. Well, Palacios is yeah. all right. Looks like he's kind of limping. Yeah, it looks like he got a little limping. I'm hoping it's more ankle than it is muscle. Ball schemes back out there for this uh, bottom half of the. Uh, Fifth inning, the Pirates have made the change. Joshua Palacios cannot continue. Michael A. Taylor is out in center. J. G. Wan Bay moves from center to right. So Paul Skeens, moments after throwing his second wild pitch of the season, hits his fourth batter of the year. And the table is set for Trey Cabbage, who struck out his first time up. Struck him out. He strikes out Cabbage. And actually snatches the ball back. Feel a little fire in here right now as he goes against Altuve. Ball towards third. Off the glove of Kebrian Hayes in the left field. Two runs are going to score. Key Bryan, one of the best defensive third basemen in the game, had a potential double play going to left field. Sometimes you need a break, and the Astros got one there because you're talking about a third baseman with the highest fielding percentage in the major leagues. That one just skipped over his glove, like you said, played it to his left. The Astros. Able to take advantage. Now it's still looking for their first base runner here in the sixth inning, trailing 2 0. Here's Grandal. Drive to right. Yes, Monty Grandal going to clear the deck with a cannonball. And he could very well stand and admire it as the Pirates are on the board. There goes the perfect game. No hitter. Shut out with that big swing from Yaz. Two to one. Well needed right there. Cut the deficit in half with one swing in the bat. Yes, Monty Grandal taking care of business. Three of the first six innings, the Astros have put runners on base with nobody out. And they've had they've added pressure to Paul more than we've probably seen in probably any of his starts this year so far. It's a one-two count to Jake Myers. Swing and a ground ball to third. Hayes gloves goes to second for one relay. Two double play and they got him out of the inning. Hayes ended up on his seat as he was falling down to make that throw, and he gets Skeens and the Pirates out of it. Starting an inning ending double play. Now two are on for Cruz. And if they were careful with Reynolds, so let's see if Cruz can really make a pay right here. My drive right field base head. O'Neill Cruz ties the game into second base with a rip roar and double for the Cruz missile. 2-2. Two, two. And now it's back to the top of the order. Michael A. Taylor, who replaced Palacios in the fifth inning when Palacios came out with the left hamstring discomfort. Runners take off, and the pitch is called a strike. It was off the plate, but another double steal for the Pirates. And now the go ahead run is at third base, and an insurance run in scoring position with two outs. Oh. High fly ball, left center field. Clear the deck. Cannonball coming. Michael A. Taylor has given the Bucks the lead in the ninth with a three run blast. <laughs> blast indeed. That ball almost knocked the train off the track. Michael A. Taylor, what a time to clear the deck with a cannonball. Well, the one thing in this ballpark you don't want is free passes. Said it, it is definitely a right-hand hitter's ballpark. And Jose Altuve knows that for sure. He's got one thing in his mind, one swing and try to tie this ball game up. Altuve in the left field, dying quickly. That's going to be a base hit. The bases are loaded. Tying run on first, winning run at the plate in the form of Alex Bregman. Bregman in the center field, falling quickly, it's caught. Everybody has to get back to their bases. Caratini thought about trying to score, but no reason having a play at the plate in a 5-2 game with Jordan coming up. Inside, ball four will force in a run. It's now a 5-3 game. The tying run moves into scoring position. Caratini crosses the plate. Jazz McCormick will pinch run for Alvarez at first. Now it's Yainar Diaz. Popped it up. Cruz is under it. The Renegade is going to save it and raise the Jolly Roger in back to back comebacks. The battle in Buccos beat the Astros. Two phenomenal games on the road in back to back fashion. That's so good. <laughs> That's a lot of good baseball right there.